Hey, what's up my fellow weirdos? So this week I'm going to be custom painting these high top converse and the inspiration for the theme of the painting kind of popped into my head when I was in Budapest. So I'm excited to finally get to paint this idea and show you guys the final outcome. Now come with me and let's get to it. First I'm starting off by making a stencil of the two portraits I want to paint on the shoes. Sometimes getting the stencil on right feels like the hardest part. Let's see how it goes. I'm using carbon transfer paper and a special gel for stencils to get it to stick to the shoes. This is normally the supplies I use to get a stencil to stick on skin before tattooing. Well, what just happened is that I tried to put the stencil that I made onto the shoe, but I didn't do a very good job. So it ended up kind of getting fuzzy and double, double stamped in a couple of places. And because of that, I tried to take some cleaning solution like alcohol and rub it off. And in the end, it didn't want to come off and it smudged it. So at this point, my only option is to go with it and make it become a piece of the art and it's now a learning experience. You cannot undo a stencil on shoes. Well, here goes the second one. like it's only missing a little bit here, but that's okay. The rest of it I can read, so that one's good. This one, questionable. Now to start getting the base layers of her skin tones down. I'm gonna wanna start building up a lot of layers to make this tiny portrait as realistic as possible. I may have smoked too much weed. F I can't tell if I'm making it worse or better. This is just white, but it looks like this weird gray color, and I don't know why. I guess I'll mix some color with it. One reason I have to build up so many layers on the face is to get rid of the stencil marks. You can see the stencil clearly through the paint on the roses in the hat, which is okay there, but I definitely don't want the stencil to show through the face. just using a simple yellow color to go over all of her hair since I know that the stencil is going to show through and I just want to get a base layer down but this is definitely not what her final hair color will be looking like. I like to build up layers with color or with black and gray pretty much no matter what my medium is. I just like to build up layers until the final piece is done. So this is the first layer with like a basic yellow and then on top of that I will build up with shadows and highlights using different colors and shades.
I always find it so interesting to see how a painting looks in the beginning stages compared to when it's finished. In the beginning steps, my paintings usually look really messy and maybe not so good, but it's just part of trusting the process that it will lead to a beautiful piece of art in the end. I also think it's fun to build up the values in the face and the hair first, and then do the final details like eyelashes and makeup on a portrait last. Then it feels even more like bringing the portrait to life. I want the main focus of these shoes to be on the portraits, so now that the portraits are done, I'm going to add a fun background that goes with the women and makes them really stand out. I decided to freehand the words, not your darling, because I think that these portraits look really sweet and charming, like a proper southern lady, but they look strong and independent at the same time. I was at a bar in Budapest when I originally saw this photo of Marilyn with the bubblegum, and there was a sign with it that said, pink is not just a color, it's an attitude. I really liked that this was so strong and sassy, and this is all part of what inspired me to make this custom shoe design. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. And if you liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday. Also give me a follow on Instagram or TikTok for more content every single day. See you guys next week.